In Maryland, different types of divorce can be pursued, and understanding these types of divorce can help couples make informed decisions when they decide to end their marriage. No-Fault Divorce No-Fault Divorce is the most common type of divorce in Maryland. It does not require proof of any wrongdoing or fault by either party. In a no-fault divorce, one spouse files for divorce and claims the marriage is irretrievably broken. This means there is no hope of reconciliation and the marriage cannot be saved. The other spouse does not have to agree to the divorce for it to be granted. Fault-based divorce A fault-based divorce is a type of divorce that requires one spouse to prove that the other spouse is at fault for the breakdown of the marriage. The most common grounds for fault-based divorce in Maryland are adultery, cruelty, desertion, and conviction of a felony. The spouse filing for the divorce must provide evidence to support the allegations of fault. Limited divorce A limited divorce is also known as a legal separation. It is a type of divorce that does not end the marriage, but allows the couple to live separately and make decisions about property, finances, and child custody. In a limited divorce, the court can make temporary orders for child support, spousal support, and custody. A limited divorce can be a good option for couples unsure if they want to end their marriage, but who need time apart to work on their issues. Absolute divorce. An absolute divorce is a legal termination of the marriage, which allows both spouses to remarry. An absolute divorce can be obtained through either a no-fault or fault-based divorce. In an absolute divorce, the court can order property division, spousal support, child custody, and child support. An absolute divorce can take several months or even years to finalize, especially if there are property or child custody disputes. Collaborative divorce. A collaborative divorce is a type of divorce where both parties work together to reach an agreement on the terms of the divorce. Each party is represented by their own attorney. In some cases, other professionals such as financial experts and child psychologists may also be involved. The goal of a collaborative divorce is to avoid litigation and reach an acceptable settlement for both parties. Collaborative divorces can be less stressful and expensive than traditional divorces, but they require both parties to be willing to work together and compromise. Mediated divorce. A mediated divorce is a type of divorce where a neutral third party, called a mediator, helps the couple reach an agreement on the terms of the divorce. The mediator does not make decisions for the couple, but helps them communicate and negotiate. Mediated divorces can be less expensive and less time consuming than traditional divorces, but they also require both parties to be willing to work together and compromise. Do-it-yourself divorce. A do-it-yourself divorce, also known as a pro se divorce, is a type of divorce where the couples handle the divorce proceedings themselves without the help of an attorney. In Maryland, a do-it-yourself divorce is only possible if the couple has no minor children and agrees on all divorce terms. The couple must file the necessary forms with the court and attend a hearing to finalize the divorce. To know which type of divorce is right for you, you need to consider your goals, the state of your relationship with your spouse, your current financial situation, and how the proceedings may impact your children. An experienced family law attorney can help you understand your legal rights and options and guide you in choosing the right type of divorce for your situation. Taking the time to consider your options carefully and seeking the guidance of a qualified family law attorney can help you make informed decisions and achieve the best possible outcome for your divorce. If you need help filing for divorce in Maryland, contact our office today.